guys welcome back to my channel my name is Melissa for those of you who don't know and for today's video I'm gonna be filming my July favorites so I have been loving some of these products I have been disliking some of these products and I just wanted to share them with you guys I have some clothing I have some makeup but before we jump into this video I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already so you'll be part of the ATFB fam ATFB all things fashion and beauty and if you hit that post notification bell you can get notified of all of my future uploads so I usually do upload Monday Wednesday and Friday but without further ado let's just jump right into this video guys where to start let me start off with the clothes first then let me go into my favorites and then I'll do some flops at the end so first things first I'm just gonna shout out Manny MUA you guys know I love Manny I love Casey Holmes I love Juicy Jazz I love Chris and Dominique love them support them in every single way that I can and because of that I went ahead and I actually purchased some of Manny's clothes so if you guys don't know he does have some merch and I went ahead and bought a few things so I'm just gonna show you guys one thing should I show you guys another shirt that I got I got a few things so I have this pink hoodie and it's actually really nice I I've been wearing this like summertime because it is summer it's hot but at nighttime you get that kind of cool breeze so I have been wearing this it's really light it's perfect for like those chilly nights and just lounging around the house I don't know I just love it I got this in pink and I also did get a gray one and I also did get the shorts and then I got two shirts uh, if you guys don't know one of his sayings let me just go ahead and show you guys let me grab it all right so I got it so this is like his famous saying if you guys don't know if you don't like let me open it up so you guys could see it better if you don't like it then don't effing watch it so this is like his saying if you guys don't know and I just had to get it because I just really like it like I love Manny and that is his saying and every single time I think about it I'm just like that is him like that is literally him and the next thing I got is just a regular plain like t-shirt and I feel like it would go really good with leggings but it does say Manny MUA and then on the back it does say glam nap repeat so literally my life so I had to go and get this too he was doing 50% off of his merchandise and when I saw this I was like let me get it I really like this one because it is longer in the back and shorter in the front so did like that the next two clothing pieces I actually have a few things from this, this is Fabletics because I don't know if Fabletics is a monthly subscription box I have a little obsession with monthly subscription boxes but it is a monthly subscription box and basically you it's $50 a month and then you can pick like outfits or leggings or shirts or whatever you want so this is the only clean clean pieces that I have because I've been trying to work out every single day so everything is in the wash but I did get some leggings they have really really cute leggings they're so comfortable I did go with a size medium they are so comfortable they like hug you they fit you right they're good quality they're not see-through they're just amazing seriously so I do have these black ones these are the power hold leggings and super super comfortable then I also did get a sports bra this is just a camo sports bra I got this in a medium as well it does have cups in there too but the clothes are so so comfy I have shirts I have shorts I have uh, capris I have long pants I have like the shorts the biker shorts I literally have a lot from them and there's not one thing that I don't like so it really does like you and, and I don't I kind of feel like when I'm working out and I look cute I want to work out so I want to have those cute workout clothes because it's gonna make me want to work out even more because I look cute does that make sense I'm not sure but I like having cute workout clothes and that is just adorable so definitely do like that and I also have a shirt from them actually it says beach please and you guys know I'm obsessed with the beach so how to get that and I've worn that like not even working out just like hanging out basically it's it's a cute shirt and 
And that is it for the clothing. Let me jump on in it to my favorite makeup products. Let me start off with this. This is a drugstore foundation. This is the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour foundation. This is for combination slash oily skin. I did get the shade 300 golden beige and this is a matte finish it has spf 15 in it i love this guys it is so so good for my oily skin it doesn't leave me oily doesn't leave me cakey it just sits so well on the skin my pores look amazing it is just so good i really really do love this foundation and it's pretty cheap too it's around for less than 14 dollars, i believe but such a good foundation if you guys are oily definitely try it i believe they also do have this for uh, normal skin as well so really good and this is to me it's like a full coverage foundation it covered everything up and it just looked really really good on my skin so definitely I love this I definitely recommend this another thing that I should have grabbed but I didn't but I just want to quickly mention it it is my new favorite combination so I think I've done this in a few videos so far but I have been doing Canaan Austin primer all over my face. You guys know that it's my holy rare primer. It keeps me matte. It keeps me like looking good all day. I really do like it. And then what I will actually do is I will take a little bit of the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I don't use Tatcha all over my face because I am super oily. I just use the Tatcha right here and it does such a good job at filling in my pores. So I kind of just put it in and then I press it right here and then I also put a little bit right in between my brows just because that area can look a little funky sometimes but literally the best ever. I love that combination. It is my favorite. If you are oily and you have large pores, definitely give that a try because that works so, so well for my skin. The next two things I'm going to talk about are some setting sprays. So first one, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber Setting Spray. This is a primer water. I am obsessed with this. It smells like straight up cucumbers it smells refreshing it feels so nice on the skin and it even does remind me of the smashbox photo finish primer water it just is so so good i'm actually going to spray some on my face now because it is like 100 degrees in jersey and it's they're saying it outside it feels like 115 so it is a hot day i love this so much the mister on this is beautiful it just mists so well my skin feels like hydrated and just so refreshed whenever I use this I really really like this this is like three bucks wet and wild it is amazing so if you guys have not tried this go ahead and try this out because this is the bomb so the next thing that I want to talk about is for my oily gals and guys out there you guys know I have oily skin this is amazing this is the NYX matte finish setting spray this keeps me matte so long so i do also use my urban decay d slick that is one of my holy grails i love 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 it this is right up there again this is like i think around six dollars possibly a little less it is just so good i spray it on and it literally it keeps me matte for the longest time it has a nice sprayer i want you guys to see it see like it's not too harsh you don't get those like patches of like the spray on you it just diffuses it beautifully and it's just so nice it doesn't smell like anything it yeah it doesn't smell like anything it's just really light on your skin and it just feels amazing so i really really do love this as well the next thing that i'm going to talk about is an oldie but a goodie and i think i've mentioned this on my channel a few times but i don't think i actually have you have use this in a favorites video but it is a favorite of mine this is the maybelline tattoo studio brow gel so this has been around for a really really long time i have so many brow products but i was just digging through and i found this and i was like let me actually start using this again this is so good you can get that nice fierce brow you can get the delicate brow you can get like the furry brow you could do anything with this so it does it did actually come with a spoolie i don't use it with a spoolie because i feel like it just disperses too much product onto my brow and you also as you guys could see it has like a little dofo applicator i don't use this on my brow either i feel like it's too thick too much don't like it so one trick that i actually do use is i use a little eyeliner brush or eyebrow brush whatever brush you have and i use this and i'll just 
tap a little bit right there and I just outline my brow and then I fill it in and it gives me such a good brow I always have good brows day, brow days when I do this my brows just look super defined they just look amazing it's a spot-on color I have the color medium brown 257 so literally it is so 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 good I am obsessed with this I literally use this every day it takes two seconds to do because you just need a little bit of this and you can fill in I literally just tap it and then I fill in the top tap it fill in the top tap fill in the bottom then I fill it in literally you don't even need a lot of this because it is so intense and so perfect and I really really love it another product that I have been loving this is just a sample version of this this is the Too Faced damn girl mascara and let me tell you this beats my Too Faced better than sex I know I don't think I would ever say that the only thing is I wish I did get the full size of this but it has that nice dramatic wand definitely like an hourglass it's a little bit more wet than the Too Faced but I think I just need to leave it open a little bit but it gives such nice a volume it gives it's like super black and your lashes look long they look full they just look amazing so I really really am obsessed with this like look at that wand guys it is just so darn good I am obsessed the packaging is just so cute so I really really like this I feel like it does so much for my lashes you could see the difference when I apply this on one eye and not the other it just looks so darn good if you guys want to see a comparison of this to the Too Faced Better Than Sex leave me a comment down below and I will make that video happen because guys this is amazing and I don't think I would ever say that about another mascara but this is so so good I really do like that talk about a primer so this primer I actually got because Juicy Jazz was raving about how good this primer was and I actually want to do a video of she did a sweat proof makeup video and I want to put it to the test I want to see if that works for my oily skin I know that she used two different primers but I have really oily skin so I probably just use this all over my face this is the Catrice Prime and Fine primer and literally it is amazing guys it keeps me so matte it feels so nice on the skin you just feel like when you put it on you feel like okay I'm mad now like I feel good it is just really really good I really like this again a super affordable price it is amazing you guys wanted drugstore products and I am bringing them to you guys this is just such a good primer if you have oily skin they also do have a dewy one or one for normal to dry skin and that one I heard is amazing again I can't attest to that because I am oily but this is just really really great for my oily people out there it will keep you matte a lot like super long and especially with this primer that I've used I've actually used this spray the primer spray first then I will put this on and then you know do my makeup whatever then I will set my makeup with the NYX literally my skin looks so good it remind me of the Smashbox and then the Canyon Austin primer and then the Urban Decay D Slick so this is just a great dupe if you are looking for a cheaper alternative and you're oily this is literally my holy grail it works so so well so let me talk about some eye brightener now this is the Laura Mercier this is the secret brightening powder for under your eyes so you guys know I like my under eyes to be super super bright because my under eyes are usually deep they're usually dark and just something that I don't like so I try to look for products that will lighten up my under eyes that will make them look not as deep and intense and just really good and I think this is definitely one thing that I love so you guys can see it is a white I think I just put powder everywhere it is a white powder it is a white powder and it's just so good it's so finely milled I just put a little bit right underneath and I feel like my skin looks so good when I put this on like my under eyes they look lighter they look more awake and they just look amazing so I really do like this and if you it doesn't dry out my under eyes it doesn't make them look really creasy or anything like that so I really do like this product it's amazing the next thing that I want to talk about is this bronzer so this is a by Mac this is the Kanan Dreamin bronzer first look at the packaging the packaging is just so darn pretty you guys know I'm obsessed with marbles so it's right up my alley but this bronzer is amazing guys 
it is so good i'm wearing it today it gives me such a nice bronze you literally only need a little bit of this this is literally the perfect color for me and i'm obsessed with it like i'm gonna be honest this is literally a bronzer that i have been using basically for weeks on end because i'm just obsessed with it it is just that good for my skin it just blends smoothly i could like tap it in or i just rub it in it doesn't make my foundation come off it just sits so beautifully on my skin it just gives me that nice summer warm glow that i need and it just matches me perfectly as well so i really really do love this bronzer the next two things that I'm going to talk about are my last favorites and I have a two eyeshadow palette so this is by Christian Dominique I feel like I'm mentioning a lot of youtubers in this video but this is I have two palettes so let me go individually this one is an oldie but a goodie this is the Christian Dominique latte palette I love this palette guys literally the colors are beautiful I can make some neutral like looks with this I can add in some pops of color I could literally do whatever and it just looks so so pretty I really like this color I, they blend out amazing you have like the big pan sides I feel like it's great for traveling because you do have those new neutral colors you do have shimmers and then you do have those pops of color so I really do enjoy this palette and I feel like it is just beautiful I do like this a lot the yeah, next palette that I'm going to be talking about again this is another Kristen and Dominique this is the rustic glam palette look at how stunning this packaging is the packaging is beautiful so when I go ahead and I open it up again you get a large mirror just like in the other palette but this is just stunning guys I love love, love this you have so many options with this to be honest i feel like this is probably a little bit better of a travel palette for the summer especially because you do have those fun shades so you do have those shades where you can make a nice neutral kind of look you know so it's perfect for work for me um but you also do have those fun shades right over here and the shades aren't so like wham bam in your face that you can't make a natural look so you guys know i usually like eyeshadows that aren't wham bam in your face because i like more of the natural with a pop of color but with this i can achieve that and i feel like that is just amazing the pan sizes are huge they are so buttery they are so creamy i use this as an all over shade or even like a brow bone highlight regular highlight it's just amazing the colors are beautiful like that is a really deep dark blue it looks gorgeous they blend amazing on your eye they're just so buttery and they they're just amazing her eyeshadows are perfect i really really do like them so i use this for work and i can also use this for play excited and really happy that i found this palette i was eyeing it and i was like do i get it do i not get it i don't know i'm not sure what to do and i was like you know what just do it melissa just buy it so i went ahead and i bought it and i re like regret not buying it sooner because it is that good so the next products i just have three flops and if you I just want to put a little bit of a disclaimer out that if you guys do like these products that is perfectly fine these products just didn't work for me everybody has different tastes so if you like these products I'm glad that they work for you they just couldn't work for me so just keep that in mind first product that I'm gonna be talking about this is the NYX fill and fluff brow pencil so this is in the shade brunette and I do have to say it was all right at first I was like okay I think I could deal with this then I started using this more and I just couldn't do it guys the reason being is because the pencil is just so thick and so waxy that my brows just looked so crazy I tried using this so many ways I used I tried using the tip I tried just filling it in it just wasn't working for me and I feel like another reason that it didn't work is because of the brush at the end so you have a brush it's not a spoolie it's literally a brush and you're supposed to like brush your brows through it and I feel like this is the reason why it didn't work because yes it is a very dense but I feel like the product was kind of just mushing around instead of blending out evenly and I feel like just the fluff part just wasn't really working for me my brows just looked really bad really weird really waxy it just wasn't my type of thing so I am gonna have to give this a 
pass and a full out for me this month it just was not working another thing that i wanted to give a full out this month this is the benefit boy ing industrial strength concealer so this is in the shade number two i tried to give it some love and try to make it work and it just was not working for me reason being is getting that foundation out was just it just was weird like and I feel like the coverage wasn't that good like you guys could see but like it just wasn't I was building it up and building it up and building it up to the point where it was just too cakey and it just didn't work for me um I feel like I could use this maybe as like a eye primer I don't know how to make this work it just was not working for me I feel like it was just not I had to really build it up to see that coverage again and that is just because I like my concealers to be full coverage I just do not get that coverage it is just so thin I really have to apply a lot of it to get coverage and I, in my opinion I don't want to apply that much because then I'm just gonna look cakey so this really was not working for me and I'm gonna have to find a different way to use this but definitely not for a concealer for me at least the next thing that I want to talk about this I got in boxycharm this is the butter London palette so this is the I think it's goddess something palette it's the goddess something palette like I love the packaging of this I think it's so cute you do have the floors florals it looks adorable then when you open it up you do get a mirror which is awesome too so I really did like that thing that I didn't like about this was the eyeshadows I know which is horrible there are only two eyeshadows in here that I really liked I really liked this diva shade it is very very pigmented very very pretty looks amazing on like it is such a nice shimmer looks beautiful I also really liked this matte shade which is the shade temperate temptress very very pretty very pigmented very nice that is all that I liked reason being the shade Enchantress, Queen, Star, they were not as pigmented as they should have been, to be honest. They, they were just lacking that extra pop that I feel eyeshadow should have. Like, they just felt kind of chalky on me. I mean, the swatches look good, but on the eye, they were just not working for me. Let me try Star especially star like you could see star was just not it just wasn't working and then the blue shade was nice but I feel like it was also a little bit chalky so I feel like some of these most of these shadows were on the chalkier side it was really hard to blend the color story like it just I'm not a fan of it I feel like it was kind of hard to make looks with this there is no transition shade there is no light brown shade I feel like they could have done something a lot different I do like the pop of blue in here it is fun but I feel like there should have been a lighter brown there should have been just better like get rid of this enchanter shade it really didn't do much for me neither did this shade it just wasn't wham bam in your face and I feel like this had a lot of potential but the colors were just a letdown because they weren't as pigmented they weren't as shiny wham bam in your face and they were just chalky so this is just something that just didn't work for me another favorite that I wanted to quickly mention I got this in PR about a week ago and I have been using these lipsticks non-stop so I got a package from Maybelline as you guys could see and this is their new super stay ink crayons guys these are amazing if you guys do not follow me on Instagram go give me a follow because I did do a little wear test kind of thing for you guys on there but these are so so great so I do have multiple color options but these are amazing guys they are just so creamy they're so easy to put on because they do have that kind of lip liner feel so let me go ahead and take one and show you guys so this is what it looks like you do get a little sharpener which is so so handy and then you do open it up and then you do get a little crayon and it's so perfect because as you guys can see the tip is very pointed so it's very easy to make a lip liner type of situation and then you just fill it in with this as well this is so creamy this is matte but it's not uncomfortable matte like it's 
stays put all day for eight hours it doesn't feel dry it doesn't cling to any dry patches you don't feel it on your lips it's very very flexible so i have been loving these so so much i actually do have one on me right now i have this pink one on me i applied this at what time what time was it, it was like eight o'clock in the morning and it is now 338 so literally has been on for a really long time this is the shade seek adventure and it's just so pretty and i really do like these so these are great they're drugstore they're affordable they are amazing so definitely go check them out i have some amazing colors i really do like the shade seek adventures i also like this pretty um orange shade i actually am going to be filming a little um unboxing for you guys so definitely stay tuned for that if that is up before this video i'm gonna leave it in the eye but it is just amazing but that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed my favorites and flops this month. Please let me know what were your favorites and flops. Is there anything you guys want to me to review? Let me know in the comments down below. And before you leave, I just want to remind you guys to please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not subscribed already. My goal is to get to 300 subscribers and do a mini giveaway. So please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and if you want hit the post notification bell so you get notified of all of my future uploads i upload every monday wednesday and friday 3 p.m est and i hope that you guys enjoyed let me know your favorites and flops and give this video a thumbs up if you do like these types of videos i do have a playlist of my favorites and flops down in the box below and i will try to link it in the eye for you guys as well but I hope that you guys enjoy and stay cool if it's really, really hot where you are because it is so hot where I am. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.